Hi, we had the legal process today. Yes, justice in the United States of America in a federal court. So here, we, let's go through the whole three-minute process. High uh, court calls the case Moshe versus Keenster and others. Civil matter 08-2105. Is the plaintiff on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, what? Yes, this is Gary Moser. I'm on the phone. Where are you? I'm in New Jersey. Why aren't you down here? Uh, first, I have an anxiety disorder. That's well, then how are you going to come down and try this case? I'm going to try it on the papers. The evidence is all electronic. It's all... Have uh, you ever, are you a lawyer? I am not pro se. Have you ever tried a case in federal court? <coughs> I have, um, yes, I've entered a case in federal court. All right, now look, all of that was completely bogus bullshit. I mean, first, usually on teleconferences, it's traditional. The judge asked if the people were on the phone because we had to wait three or four minutes before he even got to the phone. And sometimes something happens, somebody gets disconnected. So the judge usually says, hey, are you people there? And you say, hey, judge, yeah, we're here. And then you go on the record. All right, so I didn't get that he was not even going to figure out whether we were still on the line or not, the, the idiot. Um, so that's why I said, yeah, you know, instead of giving, but, you know, it's called an appearance. A judge asks for your appearance, and so then you say, yes, I'm Gary Mosier, the defendant. All right, so, you know, he doesn't even know, he doesn't know legal procedure, this idiot. Um, the fact that I'm pro se is a known fact. It's on every document that's been filed in the case. It says on it, pro se. I mean, this is just such bogus bullshit. Who represents the defendant? <laughs> defendant? Who represents the, the defendant? Right. My name is. I'm here, uh, pro se, also defending myself. How long is this case going to take to try? But by the way, uh, Mr. Mosier, you haven't you haven't served two other defendants, correct? Uh, you mean brilliant? Ask a question and then go on right to the next question. Oh, by the way, ignore the question I just asked. I'm going to ask another question instead. I mean. Just typical bullshit behavior. Um, you know, the first question is so ludicrous anyway. How does a lawyer... Look, I, I would have said the case could take two fucking weeks, but if you get an asshole for a judge, then it takes over a fucking year because then he has to get fucking vacated by a, a fucking appeals court because he doesn't know the fucking law. Uh, I mean, it's just so fucking... It's just such bullshit. I have served them. I was going to be filing a motion for an order... Okay. What kind of an order are you going to file for? Oh, this part was just incredible. So I just explained. You know, we, they have a, a rule, a federal rule in the court is that basically, you know, instead of having a, an official person serve people papers, you just mail the papers to the people and they can just comply with them. And now it saves a whole big pile of money. And if they don't comply, then all the expense of having them served, of having someone go to their place of business and serve papers on them, all that expense, they pay for it if they reject the waiver. All right? I've been through this procedure before in New Jersey federal court. Okay? I know the federal court rules in this procedure. And the next step is when they don't return the service, you, you simply ask for an order to the court that merely states that now they will be responsible. And then you take that court order and they give it to a federal officer and then he goes to the fucking per person, serves them with the papers and requires them to pay for him to go there to serve the papers. I've, I've seen the process. This judge does not know the federal law. Uh, to have them served by a federal officer because they did not comply with the federal rules regarding the waiver of service. Well, you serve them, you got to hire your own service, man. Well, as I, as I understand the federal law, well, then, well, I need a court... Well, wait a second. I couldn't do it, you... you yeah, well, I wanted to call him, you you know, stupid asshole, because uh, you fucking dismissed the case before I could even file the fucking goddamn motion for the, for the order, you dumb ass. All right? You fucking demolished the fucking lawsuit before the whole plaintiff list was even completed, you dumb fucking ass. Go ahead. All right, let me have a uh, schedule in court. All right, as for both of you, I cannot practice law. Therefore, you're going to have to you're going to have to abide by all the federal rules, all of them. Yeah, why don't you have to abide by them? 
You've just been vacated by the fucking appeals court of the federal government. They've just told you that you don't know the fucking law. And this is the arrogance that you fucking come back to the courtroom with? You dumb dickhead. Any new parties coming into this case, yes or no? Yes. Wait, it's too late for that. I mean, brilliant. Brilliant. Just fucking brilliant. Why ask the fucking question if it's too late for that? I mean, that doesn't make any fucking sense. And it's not too late for that according to the goddamn explicit rules of the goddamn Supreme Court of the United States. Okay, the only point of having a time limit on anything is because if it wastes procedure time or, or is it unfairness to one of the parties. That's the only reason. Now, not because, it, what, some judge doesn't like it? Well, that's just too fucking bad. The fact that this case has taken a year because it had to be appealed because you don't know the fucking law, all right, it's, it's just, there's no other choice. You dismissed the case, you idiot. <laughs> How the fuck can I fix a time uh, difficulty created when you dismiss a fucking case illegitimately, you dumb fucking dickhead. I, well, I'm sorry. I don't know how it could possibly be too late when you have discontinued the case before that... All right, hold it a second. I'm going to order this. I am not going to handle this by phone. I'm going to order you to come down. I'm going to reset this uh, scheduling conference. Uh, my requirement is everybody be here in person. All right, well, I'll just I'll file another appeal, Ben, and Mr. Jones will pay another $450. You have a date, please. We're going to reset this. Failure to show up will be either dismissing the plaintiff's case or striking the defendant's pleading, whoever doesn't show up. And I'll, I'll file, file an order requiring, oh, asking for reconsideration, go to the appeals court once again. What do we have, please? October 22nd at 9, what is it, what time? At 9.45 a.m., it's order of the court, both sides, since both sides are pro se, and apparently they don't know what they're doing. Uh, oh, you have just been vacated by an appeals court, and you have the, you, you have the fucking, to sit there and, and point fingers of who doesn't know the law. I, the very same papers I filed in the appeals court were the very same papers I put on your desk and said, reverse yourself, you're breaking the law. You refuse to do it. Obviously, you don't know the fucking law. I'm going to require that you both be here in person, which I require on all of my cases, except for, what is the date? October 22nd, 9.45 here in Houston, Texas. We'll see you all then, and we'll get a scheduling order entered at that time. We'll stay in the jury, off the record. On appeal. Yeah, so anyway, um, it's, it's just so, in, first he's got his secretary or whatever, you know, telling him all this stuff because he can't figure it out for himself. Um, you, you know, but this whole idea, you, you, this is the very same issue I took to the appeals court. They vacated his decision and he did exactly the same thing. He can't do this. It's against the, the fucking rules of his own fucking court. And he even talked about, I always... No, you don't always. In your own specific rules for your particular court, you actually, you have a whole paragraph in there about um, teleconferencing based on whether it's a distance burden or, or other um, inconveniences. So why is that in your own court rules if you never allow anybody to do this by teleconference? So that was not a true statement, was it, Your Honor? Oh, God, well, anyway... In just in completely insane. I mean, the ver the exact same issue. I have to go back to an appeals court with exactly the same fucking issue. I mean, it's just, this should never, this should be impossible in a federal court. Uh, just absolutely ludicrous crap. All right, man, yeah. I tried to make a calm video on this. It's just not possible. Maybe I'll make a really insane one later. So anyway, um, yeah, that's it. But, you know, so I don't know. If you want to mirror this video, you could. Yeah, I'll, I'll post a link to the FLV file. What the hell? This guy's out of, out of his fucking mind. He should not be a federal judge. That's just a fact. He doesn't have the temperament for it. He doesn't have the intelligence for it. He doesn't have the integrity for it. Um, yeah, he's just... He's, in, he's incompetent. Period. I'll go that far. Uh, if you go a lot farther.